Hey lovelies, welcome back to Bluey's Creations. Today I'm going to set up my B6 planner with the Alice in Wonderland theme. So if you want to see that, then keep watching. Hey guys, so here we are. I want to, I'm very, very excited. So I just finished doing my Alice in Wonderland dividers and I really oh my god I've been waiting for this for so long and I finally found somewhere that I can um, buy some Alice in Wonderland uh, yeah, don't put it out. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland dividers that's how excited I am I'm mumbling my words now um, and I could print them out I downloaded these from um, Illustrate You um, I did forget to mention that I did uh, so I won a store credit for like of $10 and then I bought some other things on top of it just to kind of give back as well um, as a thank you. Uh, and I found Alice in Wonderland uh, from Illustrate You and look how gorgeous these are. So I have already done a video on how to make these. If you haven't seen it, um, it'll be in the link below uh, for you to find um, if you're interested into... How, you know how to make your own dividers um, and yeah I'm so keen to put these in my planner I'm I've been waiting for so long just to do a planner that is Alice in Wonderland themed and oh, today is a good day so join me in doing this I mean you could have a different set of dividers but you can just do it alongside um, you know Play along with me and let's put it in this baby I'm so excited so yeah if you're watching this hopefully this gives you some some kind of inspiration or just playing along with me this let's make it fun so I'm a little upset because I have to say goodbye to her but I mean I can always change it later so <laughs> I already put this in I wanted to see how this would look behind this and oh, it's gonna look so good okay Let's let's get into this. I want to. Okay, so we need to change out a lot of things. Um, so I'm just going to start at the front. You know what? Let's just pull it all out and let's just let's go from there. Oh, there's a lot. Come out. I don't want to wreck anything. Okay. So first up, we need our first divider, which is the keys. Um, like I said in the other video, this kind of didn't line up so well, but it doesn't bother me because it's on the back anyway, so I'm not really going to see it. I'll pop that in there. I just, look how good, hang on, I want to show you. Look how good that looks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've never been so excited before. Um, oh, that's a lie. I'm always bloody excited. Um, but I just, oh, this works so well and I'm really, really excited for it. Okay, I'm just going to go through some of my things. What's that? Oh yes, because I like to washi tape my monthlies to the um, back of the divider. Oh, you have to, oh, what are you doing? You need to stop. Okay, let's pop this in carefully. I don't want that to... Okay, there we go. So, now, I know that you are going to be like, what? Why are you setting up your B6? You're not even using it. But you guys have no idea how excited I am. It's Alice in Wonderland. I know I'm not using this uh, so much at the moment, but I probably will find a reason just to because it's now being decorated as Alice in Wonderland. Um, okay, let's put in our oh, second divider. So, the first one was my monthly... And then the second one is my weekly. Um, I just realized that <laughs> I'm not in shot. So I'm going to move out these dividers and I'm going to move this over a bit more. I might even carefully, sorry for bumping the cam camera, but I really want you to see this. So hang on, let me close this. So, so far, oh my God. So we've got the vellum on the front, we've got the first divider, then we've got our monthly view, um, then we've got 
our second divider with our weekly view. Then we're going to put in the third divider, the bows. And we will put, oh, I just realized I've got my little note on this one. So I want to transfer that one over. Oh, geez, listen to those cars. They hate it when I record because I swear they do. I really do think they know that I'm recording just to make the noise. Oh, it's covering up all my dresses. That's okay. Um, but I like to keep that there just as a little flipper thingy to remind me of why I'm doing the whole, what was it again? I don't even remember, I haven't. So to be more happy, I do little things to give me more joy, stop stressing, relax, it's okay to not do something. Um, so yeah, it's just something in there that I put. I do, I kinda wanna keep these in for now. Um, this will match perfect because it's Alice in Wonderland, so I will definitely keep that. But I probably might see if I can find some cardstock or um, something along the lines that will be Alice in Wonderland. But I don't really have time to do that, so I might, I might leave that. We'll see. We'll see what this video brings. Okay, so in this third divider is going to be my basically my to-do kind of thing. So this is my cleaning monthly cleaning checklist for 2020. Um, and then I've got a little um, card divider piece here. Actually, that kind of works out. Um, not so much like that it's Alice, but it's it's just, it's there. So I don't really have a lot of stuff right now for me to do Alice. I'm just really excited to put this Alice in Wonderland dividers in. Wow, that was a mouthful. Um, so next up is my goals that unfortunately I'm uh, actually on hold and as you can see um, it was mostly like plan a vacation for, for the family go to the zoo go to the snow blue mountains see the aquarium go to Bluey's Beach because I found that there is a Bluey's Beach in New South Wales I'm so excited so I have to go there and see like just I want to go to the beach and because I love beaches but I didn't know there was a beach called Bluey's Beach and of course, you know why I'm so excited because it's got my name. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. Um, there is go to Crossroads for dinner, but um, yeah, that's not happening because you're not allowed out of your hands. <laughs> um, I'm not risking it, especially with my family. We, yeah, but me and my son both have uh, autoimmune disease and, or I think that's what it's called, isn't it? I think, I think so. Basically, we have a weak immune and we are not meant to catch this corona. <laughs> um, anyway, let's get into this. Oh, I like to keep this in here. So fourth divider, we've got the stopwatches. I want to keep this sticky note on the back here because it reminds me of what this section is mainly for. And this is basically for my children. So I'm going to put my son in first. That way he's... All done. Yeah, make sure that they're... So this is basically tracking my kids' sick days, their medicine kind of things uh, of what they're taking because I like to make sure. Um, I also like to keep track of their um, math... Like, what's it called? Not mathletics. Um, like their, their passwords for mathletics and reading eggs and whatever else that they need to do online. Um... Put in my daughter's section, which is exactly the same. And pop that in there. Then up next, we have the fifth section. I was getting confused for a second there. Um, and that's just basically, so I've only got, I'll double check. Yeah, I've just got some blank pages in this one. Um, but this is my section for like notes and stuff like that. Um, I'm still iffy with this section, but it's more like the info section, if that makes sense. Um, so I've got my um, codes that is at the back here that's kept with a little clip. I'm going to transfer over actually. So I've got like little sticky notes. I won't show them, so I'll be very quick when I throw this in. Um, but it's basically my pet's so my little, you know, my little fur babies, uh, my dogs 
information for their birthdays and where they're registered through um, just so I can keep that in my planner because whenever we move uh, we actually end up having to, what is it when we move to a new state or place or whatever it is um, we have to register them there and I have no idea because how anyone remembers that long ass number for your um, microchip number on your pet I don't know how you remember it but I never do so and I completely forget about their birthdays too um, but now that I have it in my planner, I know exactly when their birthday birthday is and their microchip number, where they're registered through, because I, I had no idea that there was actually information like that until, well, the, the we moved here really and then they told me, oh, they're just through this, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, so the sixth divider, I'm going to chuck in my little paper here I love this it just says coffee a liquid hug for your brain I think that's awesome this one's from I think this is a download like a printable download from Mumsy and Bub um, no it wasn't free this one um, I paid for so uh, but it was so worth it I loved the I love the fact that it said that okay um, so this section is my what is it so this basically my important section. So I like to keep, as you know, a list of important things uh, in the fine. So this is my expense area. Sorry, I forgot to mention. My expense area, um, this is where I like to have the, the first sheet as this is what needs to be done straight away. So this is like an important section. So this, we need to service both of our cars. We need to save up for both our regos. Um, I've already paid for the school fees, so that's good. Um, but they're homeschooling right now, so that's kind of out the window. Anyway, um, and then I always like to have my um, basically bill tracker, so I won't show you that because there's some information on that. Um, but it's basically the bill, um, so power, and we take out, uh, we pay like $100 a fortnight. Uh, it's just like sectioned like that somehow. Um, that was just a rough estimate. Um, then I've got my want section. I like to put in here uh, my want. So I'll pop that one in there. Um, so yeah, so we've got my, so this is my want section and like I've just put these on some of the, the blank white sheet paper from Kiki K. All this paper is from Kiki K just so you know. Um, and yeah, I've got my house. This is what I want to get for the house. Um, in the future this is basically my want section to buy eventually later down the future sometimes I actually change my mind and go you know what I don't really need that or I just find a different alternative um, so that's that section where I've got um, lists of what I would like to get then for the last one number seven then I'm going to just chuck in my sticky notes from the GP studio. Um, and I got that in, I think I got that in the, what was it? I honestly don't even remember. I think it was from the box. Um, and then I do like to keep um, these stickers in this area just because it's got payday, me time, uh, travel, exercise, party to do. I usually, I mainly use, as you can see, um, the payday section because they fit so perfectly and neatly in that area instead of me having to write it out. Um, and then I've got a couple of extra little loose papers here that I keep at the back as well. And then, of course, I've got to have my page lifter. I do have other ones. Oh, actually, you know what? I should do an Alice in Wonderland page lifter. <gasps> That's an idea. Okay, let's, I'm gonna put this in for now. I'm gonna be back for like, just give me a moment. I'm gonna see if I can find anything just to put that here. Okay, so I did have a look. I did find this cool thing. I know that it's not very alice you know, um, Alice in Wonderland, but I figured because in Alice in Wonderland there is these um 
oh, what do you call them, flamingos, um, that the Red Queen uses. Um, and the hearts are just there, but pineapples, I, I don't really think Alice has any pineapples in it, but it's there, okay? Um, it just, it suits it very well, so I'm going to swap out this right here and put this as a page lifter. If I find, or if I do up something that looks more Alice in Wonderland, that's what I'll do. Sorry about the noise in the background. <laughs> Jeez, they're loud. Um, but yeah, so this this will do for now. I reckon that'll look really cool. Oh my God, look at this. It looks so good. And I'm, I'm so keen for this. And the tea cups, this one, this um, sticker pouch matches so perfectly because of the teacups on the side. So we've got that, and of course, when you open up this, we've got the bow and then the teacups for the monthly. Look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. I'm so glad I decided to do that. I do, however, want to swap out the koala. I know. I'll probably put it on one of my other planners. Now, let me pop this. Um, so I'm gonna carefully try and do this and not break it. Off. doesn't want to leave okay so carefully put this over here because I really don't want to hit her I'm gonna say her <laughs> um had a break I did where is it Where did it go I know it. ah here we go so I rummaged through a lot of old um charms and a lot of them actually ended up breaking through time so I ended up Fixing it up and popping it all onto one chain and adding a few other extra bits. So we've got this Alice in Wonderland bow here with a rose on it. Um, then I've got the crown here. Then I, I hope I can, I can, or oh, you guys can see that. So bow, flower, or rose, sorry. The crown, then we've got the Cheshire cat. Then I also have the clock or the pocket watch here. Then we've got the donuts. I've got the donut mainly because it's, you know, it's food. Whenever she bites into something, she grows. Um, but, and then we've got a little macaroon. I think that's a macaroon. A little bug or ladybug. We've got the vintage chair. I thought that would suit this really nicely. Um, teacup. And then, of course, a key. And it just, I don't know, it blended so nicely. So I kind of want to put it, I have a feeling this will annoy me because it's dangling everywhere. But because we're doing an Alice in Wonderland theme, I really want it to kind of just flow. So I feel like I'm gonna have to fix this bow because it's falling apart, but that's okay. Look at that, that looks so cool. I hope you can see that. That looks really cool. Okay, um, lastly, we just have to change out this area for an Alice in Wonderland theme. So let me, so let's pull out that. We don't need the paintbrush. I'll carefully pop this off. So I don't want it to rip. I'm just trying to think through every kind of die cut I have, whether I have anything that's Alice in Wonderland. But I don't think I, I do. Um, so I'm just gonna move those out the way. I do, however, have this card, but I don't know if that's gonna really work. I mean, I could just have that there. There's this one. But I do like the thought of having them kind of behind this. But then it hides the keys. It's the only problem I have with that. Although that does look really cool. Let me see what it looks like with this one. Oh my god, it all looks amazing. Oh, I really want to see the keys though, because it looks so cool. Actually, it kind of also reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. Um, I'm not sure if any of you's watched that or play that game. Um, I mean, I could always put it somewhere. Um, oh, this is going to bug me. Oh no. Um, which one do I want? I feel like this one because it's got everyone because I love the Cheshire Cat. Um, and I do like the cards. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna have to go with that one. But then again, I will need, I think I'm gonna have to move this up the top. 
let's move you there. Hopefully this will go behind it nicely. Ha ha ha! Okay, I know it's not very decorative, only because I don't have a lot of Alice in Wonderland. It is hard to try and find Alice in Wonderland stuff, but it's something. It's, you know, it's there. But I really want to put this card somewhere. But the fact is I don't want to hole punch it because I really don't want to ruin it at all. Um, what's this? Weekly view. I mean, it's not going to work. What am I going to do? Oh, actually, what if I was to put... <gasps> oh, it could work. It could work. This could work. Hang on, let me get my other card that I had and I'll pinch the washi off this. Oops. So I'm going to put the washi on the back of this and then carefully place it on here. Where it's going to look somewhat neat. Oh my freaking god, that looks amazing. And it matches even better because of the hearts as well. Oh, yes! Okay, we're winning right now. Winner! Okay, that is so cool. Okay, that, that's staying there. Um, I still feel like this needs to... We need to do something. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't... I don't even have old cards, otherwise I would have put like cards in here or something. Give me a second, I'm going to be right back and see what I can find. Okay, so what I found, it wasn't a lot, so um, yeah, I'm not sure whether I will do it or not. Uh, but I did find this garden stone wall gate. I also found a peacock, because I'm pretty sure that there was a peacock in there somewhere. I, I, I swear there was. I could be wrong. Um, and the only flower I kind of found was this one here. So I'll see what I can do with it. I don't think, I can't see myself doing a lot. Um, just because there's, what's, I, I don't even know. Um, yeah, there's just not much I have. But, yeah. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. But it doesn't look filled as well. Um, oh, I could actually have this down here. The rose or the flower there. And then... But that's not gonna... It's not gonna work. I don't think... Oh, it's not gonna work. Because I can't even do that either. Um, damn. That's really upsetting. Um, I mean, it does look pretty. It just doesn't look filled because I don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, and this is kind of getting covered as well. And I don't like that. Um, yeah. Well, that's just sinking into the, the abyss. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not even... It's not really showing much. I mean, I could do that and then have the rose there and then the peacock kind of sitting does that work if i was to stick it there i think it's kind of not working at the moment so i'll leave, i'll i'll keep thinking on this but for now i think i'll just stick with this card here for now um just because I don't really have a lot of die cuts as much as I would want to put in this. But let's have a quick flip um, of what it looks like. I'm so excited. Uh, so yes, so we've got the Alice over here. We've got the dividers. I love that this vellum suits it so much. So we've got the first divider. We've got the second divider. Third divider. Fourth divider. Fifth. Sixth. And lucky last, the seventh one. They look so good. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I love it so much. Um, yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, and I am I hope it kind of inspired you guys um, to just pull out those old planners and just go to town on them, get creative, um, and just do, I don't know, just do something nice. Because um, I was struggling for a while and then when I finally printed out these papers, 
I got so excited, I was keen, and I was, so that's, that's gonna be your task. Go and find exactly what you love, print them out on paper, um, or cardboard, whatever you like, then um, make them into dividers, and then just go to town and make your planner into your own little magical world. Like, this is mine. This is Alice in Wonderland, um, and I love it so much. So if you love Alice in Wonderland, definitely do it as well. Um, if not, it could be Harry Potter. It could be anything. Um, and just go to town and enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there because um, my stomach is grumbling and I am so hungry right now. Um, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Be positive and give love. Bye.